Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome and thank you so very much for joining me. This is week two of my December daily journal. I'll link to the first video down below and probably in a card so you can start at the beginning if you want. And I'm doing like the 6th through the 12th putting the pages together. I prepped during the week the numbers a little bit, the 6, 7, 8. I'm using a variety of die cuts and stickers in this journal. I didn't necessarily want them all to match. And I'm sorry you can't see the little plate off to the side that I have my numbers on. But I prepped them and I posted them on Instagram, I think. So some of you have seen them. Look how well that stocking fit right there. Like I planned it. Then I have this big open space. So I'm just filling it in a little with some washi tape and a star. Just, you know, so there's not a big open hole on it. And trying to figure out, is it going to be a tuck? How is it going to work? It's, it's going to be a tip out. I figured it out. And I've sped these, this video up, but then I slow it down in certain areas where I think you might want to see. I'm not doing the journaling in the videos. In July, when I did a July daily, I think I did, and that was a lot of editing and work. So I'm just trying to put the creative flow in this video so that you get to see that part. I'm having a little trouble. I was using the Barely Arts glue. And keep in mind, I'm not gluing on a flat surface. It's lumpy. And that glue is a little bit wetter and I just wasn't patient enough with it. So this one gave me some troubles and I'm going to do my tip outs later in the book a little differently today. You'll see. So if you're new at tip outs, you might want to do them the way I do later. Not where I tried to do the whole thing all at once. Then here I'm looking around. I have a ton of these cards made up. They're like, I don't know, three by four I made them with like a party idea in mind where people were going to write comments and put them in a box and then I never used them and they've been sitting around in my like scraps box. I had them in my, I think my white scraps box or something. I thought, well, that's dumb. We'll use them as journaling cards. So that's where those came from. Just reusing things or using them up. Here I'm taking washi and I just feel like I, I was having fun, but I was making everything harder than it should have been. I should have cut the washi off, attached it to the tag a little. Anyway, I get the job done, but I have to trim it in the end because it's crooked. And I'm just trying to make a big, long pull tab because the piece of paper isn't as wide as the envelope, and it's fun to have stuff sticking out. So that's all I'm doing. I could have easily used ribbon and a stapler, and it would have taken me half the time in the video. <laughs> But if you have a lot of washi, use it in places that you would use ribbon because it's a great way to use it up. I don't have nearly the selection of blue ribbon that I have of blue washi. So that's why I use a lot of washi in this journal. Then I'm looking around on the counter and finding fun things. I don't want to put another number on that page. If I was in a journal where I didn't have enough pages, I would number every single one of them and just layer on top of it. But it's my book. I put way more than 31 pages in it. So some pages I can just decorate and have fun with. So I layered two acrylic pieces. It's cute in person. The let it snow doesn't show as well on camera. Then I grabbed a Wink of Stella marker, which is a glitter marker, and put it on some old like food stamps, which is strange because vintage and glitter. Well, why not? This is crafting and relaxing. You can do whatever you want. Then in my little tray of numbered embellishments for the pages, I had that nine and it is layered with a bunch of weird stuff. So I'm going to have to attach that one differently. This is from my absolute favorite eggnog latte place. It's called Bentley's Coffee. They give out stickers. So they have a sticker of Bentley and Bentley is the dog and I think he's just turned 15. And... So I trimmed it down because it wouldn't fit the way it was and put it up there in the corner because that was the first day I got an eggnog latte. So at this point, the two weeks have overlapped and I haven't finished my journaling for the six, but I know what I did. Then I'm trimming around the part that says, be the person your dog thinks you are because I want to put it in there somewhere. I love it. It's fun. And I'm not really a stickers on car person, but they gave me more than one, so... I have more than one. Then you'll see me grab like I grabbed that photo album. I just need hard stuff to push on to sometimes. This tag, that Graphic 45 tag I just picked up, is a glue debacle. We'll deal with that later. 
Okay, I decided to staple that nine on because I have netting and foam mount and all kinds of stuff. It's really buckled. When all else fails, just staple it. Or I could have gotten out my Beacons 3-in-1 Stinks Up the Whole Room glue. But Art Glitter Glue or Barely, that thing would have, like, it would have needed a clip or something to hold it for a while. Now I'm making another tip out and I'm doing it a, an easier way. So if you're struggling with these, I put the glue on the thing and I just taped it down to the counter. And it can sit there. The glue will attach itself to the, the tip out item and then I can put it on the page. I want to show you what I'm working in because I felt like on this day I was having trouble finding things. Like why do I have all these pink journaling cards out? I was having trouble finding things. I like to have a pile of these are embellishments I really want to use and these are journaling cards and these are tip outs. I mean it is like an explosion and part of it is I keep clearing it away to film other things and then I just scoot it back. So even if I had piles, they're long gone. <laughs> see, it's bad. I just wanted to show you so you can kind of see what I'm working in. It got too messy even for me because I, I, they have to have at least like area piles, right? Like this one is the embellishments and this one is the pretty bling. I don't know. Okay, now I just work. So I don't know why I didn't stop and put that page flip back on, but somehow putting the 10 together inspired me. So I just layered it on some fun brown texture stuff that I have. Then I'm looking through another box of fun blue stuff. I just have tons of stuff out on the counter. My art glitter glue is fountaining, so I just rubbed the whole thing on the back to get the glue around. And then I attached my 10. You could make your numbers I could mount them to something bigger and they could be the tuck spot for the page. I could put them on the actual tip up. There are no rules. You could do this however you want. Anything you see here could be adapted for a pink junk journal that you do in the spring documenting your garden. Anything. Then I couldn't figure out what I was going to journal on on that page and I found that star card one of you sent me in happy mail and I was like oh yeah so I just trimmed the white off of it a little bit because I should have put the 10 higher if there was a plan I would have given myself a little more room I'm cutting it tight then I'm using a joy that I found when I was digging around on the counter just to add some interest you can always decorate the front of your tip ups or tip outs and then have the back be journaled on now, I don't know if you saw it, but I used the Barely Arts glue. That's a slick paper. It's mirror cardstock, so it doesn't absorb very well. And when I touched it, it slid. So I just grabbed a baby wipe off the counter and cleaned up the glue. And in fact, that's probably a baby wipe from two days ago. I might have had to spray it with uh, water. I'm a greenie, so I don't like to use a lot of disposable products, but I think they do have a place. Like... I buy paper towels, but I don't keep them on a roll in my kitchen. But when you have a sick elderly dog, you use paper towels, right? There's a time and a place for everything. Okay, I glued in my tip out that I was all tricky. It was too close to the center. It wouldn't have opened and closed as well. And what happens is if something like that, it, your tip out will get caught. So I just pulled it up a little, added some more glue. Now I'm buffing off the glue that I got on the outside. Now I'm ready to put in my joy one. I let it sit. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there. Not too much because I keep getting too much and things are sliding. Look how cute that is. It's like I planned it. I mean, if I went through my room and said, I'm going to take a bunch of cute turquoise and put it all together, it couldn't have turned out better. And I like to have my washi tape for my tip outs. I like to have variety in those and maybe some contrast. I mean, if you wanted, you can have an all blue journal and then use washi tape on the back with pink for all your tip outs if you like blue and pink or blue and yellow Cheryl I mean it could be like an accent color I'm just having fun using a lot of different washi now for this one you may have seen I picked up a blue glitter washi and I was going to use it for this pocket but it had that feeling like it was really thick maybe a cheaper washi and it was going to crack so not all washi is created equally, right? Some have not as nice of a finish. Some don't stick as well. Some the glitter's going to peel off when you fold them over. I mix them all in my stash. I have no idea which ones are which until I pick them up and work with them. 
I don't separate them by brand or anything, which is hard because when I find stuff I love, I can't just go buy the same brand. I don't know what store it came from or brand or anything. Now I'm looking for numbers. I've sped this part up because in a perfect world, I think I would die cut all the numbers or have the stickers, have them all planned, maybe even on a small circle and ready to go. Like if you punched them out of a 12 by 12 sheet for a journal or an advent calendar or something. But I didn't do that. And every time I run the die cutter, you'll notice I cut a one or a two because you use a lot of ones and twos when you make a December daily. So it doesn't hurt to run it every time, even if you only need a two or a one, just throw that number on there too if you're die cutting. The stickers that I'm using, I think are out of ones and twos. So here I'm putting it together. I don't have rules, I just test things out and then I learn, oh, I like those colors together. Remember those corrugated roll your paper through it? I think that was from my scrap bin somewhere and it had been through one of those and then I die cut it. So it has these stripies on it and it's fun, even with striped washi. The ribbon, I will use tiny little one inch scraps and staple them on the front or the back of something. The first ribbon I cut, I tossed out because it was sticky. It had that stickiness from the beginning of the roll where they put the adhesive on it. So that's the only reason I threw it out. Other than that, I don't throw out ribbon. I just staple it to random things because it's fun. When I clean up my room at the end, I'll just take things off the counter and staple them on the pages so they stick out. It helps you try things that you wouldn't normally try. When you just look at the around the counter and say, what can I do with a half inch piece of washi? Or what can I do with a one and a half piece, inch piece of ribbon? Okay, this page, it, it gave me fits and then I got sidetracked already. This was a tiny piece of, it's more of the doll clothes pattern. <laughs> so it was a little tiny piece of pattern paper and then I had put some of those blue food stamps and then I decided to use it as my 12, but then I decided to put it on that tag, which I'd already added washi and the good life sticker to. I really like how this turned out. I think it was cute. And I used gel medium because on patterns, I think art glitter glue and barely would show through. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. And I'm a firm believer that the, the good life and life is good. Those are phrases that I mean we should all be striving for and you should be trying to be positive like that no matter what. The first ribbon I cut was too short. Don't worry, I won't throw it out. It just didn't work. This ribbon is, I think it's called like grow grain and it is real old fashioned thick ribbon and it will not lay down for anything. It is fighting me. Then I had to get out the other scissors because it was too thick to get a nice cut on. The orange handled ones I just try and use for fabric. I got them at a garage sale. They're amazing. Then, okay, I'm looking, I have a plan. Now I've made this tag, I feel like I've had enough tip outs, so I wanna make a pocket. And my stamp was coming off, so I shove some glue. So I just grab a piece of paper, fold it over. I thought about doing a nice one where you score the back and fold the edges and it's all nice. And then I was like, that's stupid. Just cut it off and glue it on there. <laughs> we do those sometimes in more formal books or you might do it in a scrapbook. It just seemed like I wasn't interested. What I'm doing with that other tag, that other tag is thicker and I don't care if I get glue on it because I'm gonna layer it up later, but using an item that's thicker than the one you actually wanna put in your pocket kinda helps you make sure you're putting enough room in it too. That pocket isn't probably deep enough for the height of that tag It'll be sloppy, but I didn't want the tag covered up and I don't care that much. I had that journaling card or leftovers from the party in that pocket, but I decided that I don't have to use all my pages, right? Things, I have so many pages in here, I can pe pull things out and not journal on, and number on all of them. So I just decided to stamp this into this bag, envelope, whatever it is, and leave it. And then I'll probably put something on the white side later. I just didn't want both sides to match. I love the paper, so that's a lot of pressure on me. I love the contrast of the snowflakes. But then I realized I'd like a pocket. I haven't had a pocket for a while and I didn't tear. In fact, I'm not sure I put a pocket in this journal yet. I didn't tear the edge of that paper. So it'd be great page for a pocket. 
then I get overwhelmed by the mess and I start tidying a little. And so I think this is like seven times speed. I'm throwing things onto that plate. The plate is, I'd like to use it, but not on this page. So at some point, I'd like to use it in this book. Then I grab a piece of paper. It's okay for a pocket, but it doesn't make the page sing. So I'm looking around. Then I get into my winter scrap scrapbook papers, open collections already, and I find some that I love, and then I pull them out, and this paper has a slight purple tone to it, and those had almost like a slight greenish teal. It didn't work. Now what I'm trying to figure out is I know that Brandy gave me two pieces of that paper. So I'm trying to figure out what the heck I did with it if it's not in the journal and I can't find it on the counter. And then it occurs to me, I have it put away safely in a bin that I think says blue happy mail. I'm a butterfly. It's put away. I can't find it. I found the paper and what I decided was I wanted something from that collection so it would match. And then the blue pine cones. Oh my gosh. So I cut it like a two and a half inch strip of the blue pine cones and then I couldn't remember how tall my album was so I had to measure the length of the page and then I flipped it around so the white edge is going to rest on the blue background so I have the highest contrast I can get the colors match oh it's awesome my snowflakes don't work anymore I was going for snowflakes on that paper maybe I'll do it somewhere else in the book but I love the page and the pine cones they are so cute I didn't know I needed blue pine cones in my life, but I definitely do. Then I'm just gluing that pocket down and I need some more clothespins, but I don't have any more. And then I put that journaling card. I don't know if that journaling card will stay there. I don't think I've written on that yet. No, because today's the 13th, but I just wanted to make sure the glue wasn't stuck down anywhere. Then I grabbed my Wink of Stella marker and put glitter all over the darker parts of the pine cone. You don't know that it looks amazing, but it looks amazing. I love that paper. I, I've never really been excited about like pine cone greenery kind of thing before. Then what I'm struggling with is I don't want to cover up that paper. So I'm not really interested in layering a bunch of stuff on it. And in past experience, if I just take the numbers and I glue them flat on the page, I always think, oh, it could have had a little more pizzazz. I'd like it to be more interesting. And on this page, I said, no, it looks amazing with silver numbers on mirror paper on that page. That's exactly what I decided to go with. And I like it. And that's the thing. There aren't rules. You don't have to have every set of numbers mounted up. And in fact, when you're doing a journal or a junk journal, you want to be careful that you don't layer. I think it was last year in my December daily. Here's a look at how things are looking now. They look a little better, but I, I put too many on the exact same place in the page and the book got weird. So you have to mix it up. These are tags. This is a bookmark that one of you sent me. And then the rest of them are tags. That's a graphic 45 tag I had a problem with. The others, one's from a clo clothes and one's from like a notebook or something. And I want to use them, but they haven't been prepped. So I set them aside and I'm going to take them to my TV watching place and make them ready to use in the book. And other than that, we're pretty much done for today. I will put after photos of those tags on Instagram so you don't have to wait a whole week to see them. In fact, you might see the photos on Instagram before you find out what I did. Look, this is a whole iris case full of goodness that I haven't even dipped into. That was essentially my kit that I made. I probably should do something with that crepe paper because I love it. We have all sorts of things for the rest of the month. And I try when I do these books to use different stuff as time goes by. So if I feel like I've used the same embellishment or same item too much, I might even put it away. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.